We're asked to be given with Christina Cornelio, U.S. Naval Academy, um, which is super cool. Thanks, thanks so much for coming on 5-Minute Major. Um, three trips to nationals in three years. What do you think is going on right at Navy Hockey? Oh, what's going right at Navy Hockey? I think we have an awesome coach, Ashley Harper and Ron Seifert, who have really taken the program under their wings and being volunteers, um, have made it so we have amazing recruits that have come in. Um, this year, plebes, which are freshmen at the academy, we have a good foundation. And we're just doing the culture thing right, I think. Um, not spending too much time playing hockey, but having good um, team meals and workouts, but also living life at the academy and doing that. It's a, it's a good balance, which I think works in our favor. Tell, tell, tell me how you balance it, okay? You've got um, academics, you've got hockey, and then you've got all the obligations which come with being involved with the U.S. military. How, how do you balance those three things? And I mean, you know, I'm sure there's, you know, boyfriends and all that kind of stuff too. I mean, how, how do you balance all that? Yeah, so hockey for us is kind of the escape after school and we have about 50 minutes of practice um, four times a week when we don't have games on Fridays, we'll have practice. And basically it's just, you know, we all go over, we take a little school bus or drive over to the rink, which is about three miles away. Um, and we all just get to be together and practice. And, you know, it's like, that's where we don't really think about what's going on across the river on the yard. It's kind of just focus on hockey, have fun with each other and just build those bonds in the locker room. You're a long way from Annapolis. How much of a consolation is it that you come this far, but you're at least guaranteed three games of pool play? Oh, well, that is that is a, like an added bonus, I think, to W2. Um, yeah, it's great to be able to come here and know we're playing three games, especially with our like how difficult it is for us to travel, having all the military, um, like everything we have to go through to get places. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, three games is definitely a, a win for us. And even though we lost to Sioux yesterday and tied Northeastern, we still have a game tonight, so we're excited to be able to play and probably get more players in than if we were um, like trying to shoot for, for Ganetta pool play. When I spoke with West Point, the guys from West Point in uh, men's division two, they, when they qualified in regionals, initially, the Army wasn't going to let them go to be able to miss that much school. Do you ladies face kind of the same challenges or not as much so? Is the Navy a bit more forgiving uh, or how, how does it work? Um, so we have officers in charge who are kind of our representatives in the like military side of yeah. our team. Um, but so our, our team at the Naval Academy is considered Club A, which our captains in the past and um, have left this legacy that has allowed us to have this foundation and this base that um, it's a lot easier for us to do things like of that of that sort. And th this is actually our spring break, so we're not missing any school. Okay. Um, we just came here Monday and then we leave Saturday, so it's a good time to spend with the team and do that. So we're gonna step away from the hockey part for a bit. You um, are getting your university education at the Naval Academy. This is your potentially last game of college of, of university hockey. And then what happens for you? Yeah, so I'm I'm a senior, also called a first C at the academy, and I service selected surface warfare. So I will be going upon commissioning. I'm not sure when I'll be going to San Diego to be on a ship um, out there, DDG 123. So. Is, 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 is that the ship you're on? Yes. Oh, you already know the ship you're yeah, on. Yeah, we okay. chose in February. So. Okay. So 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 what what is your role on that ship? Are you going to be are you going to be launching the good stuff or what? Uh, we'll see. So I'll be a division officer. Um, I could be in charge of a, a lot of different things, but it's mostly a people job, um, kind of managing that. And um, I won't know until I get to the ship and whatever the commanding officer needs, I'll fill that role. Sounds cool. Well, hey, first of all, thank you for serving. Thank Th you. Thank you so much uh, for coming on. Uh, congratulations on making it to nationals three years in a row. That that that's a it's it's a lot bigger accomplishment than I think people give themselves credit for. And uh, want to wish you the best in your in your future with the uh, U.S. Armed Services. This is uh, Christina Cornelio, Women's Division Two, U.S. Naval Academy.